Welcome back, guys. Okay, so we are talking about the flu students, and we're talking about the the award ceremony. Yes. So let's talk about the awards that were given out. Absolutely. Okay, let's start with the range first. Where where would would the range for the awards? Well, you know what's interesting is um, we started off in 2017 with 250 mm -hmm. to a thousand dollars. Well, I'll tell you, Julian quickly broke that mold. <laughs> that we spoke about earlier. <laughs> yes. But I'll tell you, this year's students worked really hard. They did. And there was no one of the 14 students that was below $1,000. Yes. That to me was amazing. Just yes. hearing where, where you guys started, yes. that the, the scholarship started from $250. Yes. And I was there and I was just waiting to like, wait a minute, wait, they started from the thousands up. Like no, no one. No one for the first year ever. First time ever, wow. no one of the 14 students that graduated the program, yes. 14 seniors. And um, we were extremely excited. You know why? They worked hard. Mm -hmm. They worked really, really hard mm -hmm. to make sure that they fulfilled all of those requirements of yes. the program. Yeah. And that was extremely exciting. So $1,000 was the minimum. Right. And I'll tell you some of the things that you have to do to get that $1,000. Yes, please do. Okay. 85% participation. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's a lot. Between 25 and 30 percent parental engagement. That piece is usually very hard. Very, very hard for you to get wow. the parents engaged. You know, the conversation they'll have with the students is, I don't know why you're in their program. That's asking for too much. But no, they actually follow through this year. Wow, that's right? excellent. They have to read a book. Okay. Yes, Rich Dad, Poor Dad for Teens is what they meant. They read. Absolutely, they did. Oh, they didn't yes. just have to read a they, book. Well, they read the book. They read the book, and they had to write a summary of the book. Sure. So this way I know they read it. If it was similar to anyone else's, mm, something's not right. Here. Right. Right. Absolutely. They also had to participate mm -hmm. um, over 60% wow. in the program. So okay. you cannot graduate from something and said you got anything from it if you didn't fully engage yourself or at least give over 50%. That is extremely important. I didn't want anyone to walk away and say, oh, I didn't get this from the program. Or I didn't get any of the pillars that we talked about earlier. Right. 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 So, that's important for me. Definitely their GPAs had to, um, yeah, you know, that is a must. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I don't think anyone had a GPA that was below 3.5. No. Yeah. No. Someone with no a GPA below 3.5. And I will tell you, these young people did their PowerPoints and their leadership wow. roles, took it very, very seriously. Mm -hmm. We had two students that were in the top 10. Yes. We had number four and number five. They both went to UF. Of course. Mm -hmm. And I will say that everyone else gave it their all. And they gave it their all where our president who worked, I, I tell you, she got $3,500. Listen, people, the proof is in the pudding. Like, you do the work. You get what what's needed, what, what's, what you're, what you're, what's according to you. I, I was just so impressed with that, that, and when we're talking about the, the top tens, top threes, we're actually talking about of their graduating classes, yes. people. So to know that she worked so hard, you know, in the program Absolutely. and received such a great reward for it, it's amazing. Absolutely. It says a lot about the program and the students within the program. Yes, I have to say that, you know, just think, she received her IB diploma, yes. which is Anisha Premillion, and she's now at UNF, University of North Florida, and I have just invited her to be on the junior board. Oh, that is so awesome. I love it. Absolutely, and she's already started. She's already formed a group mm -hmm. within the alumni. Wow. that we have. I saw it this morning mm -hmm. where she invited them to give back, which is a requirement of all of the students that graduate. Mm -hmm. And they have to come back and speak to our new incoming board and the rest of the class and mentor them as to what was your first semester of, life wow. of college. What advice can you give those behind you? I love that. She already formed that group already. I love that. As um, last week was our first week. Uh-huh. For after school program last Monday. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, tomorrow's week number two. Wow. We already have 48 students that are already signed up. Their first guest speaker, this new board, their uh -huh. first guest speaker was past presidents of Clue. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so wow. <laughs> it was. It was Julian, it was Anisha, and it was Derek Acia Bush. Absolutely. So 
You know, I, I'm telling you, I like what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. I like what we've built. I know they're going to take this organization over years down the road. Mm. And mm. just think about it. It started grassroots to give back to them. We have an alumni program where we're going to have a fundraiser for them as well. Wow. Because remember that you just can't take them to the front door and leave them there. You have to keep them in the program. We've already spent $10,000 in keeping wow. our alumni in school. That's outside of the scholarship that they get. That is amazing. Yes. And all that's required of them is to continue investing in the program. Continue calling oh. those behind you and encouraging them. Teach them little tricks that you've learned mm -hmm. that you wish someone had told you mm. before you got to that front door. Right? So we, we pride ourselves in Future Leaders United in this program and what we do and give back to our young people and what we do for the families in this community. Yes. Because remember that sometimes their first generation go into college. That's true. That's true. And especially in Pine Hills, correct? Pine Hills. It's a big deal. A number of them, their first gen generation. I've had parents, though, that I've had to sometimes have that come to Jesus meeting with. Mm. You know what that come to Jesus meeting is? What it looks like. Well, I have four other kids in the school uh, in, at home. Mm -hmm. Four other young people at home. And I really need you here locally so you can help me take care of them. No. No, that's a no. That's an absolute no. I know you gave birth to them. But I also know that they're the first ones to get out to come back and help you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to ask you to figure out what plan B is. Mm. That plan B should not stop them from going off to their dream school. That is costing them no money, by the way. Right. Because they worked that hard to get scholarships to go there. But you're stopping them because you don't want them to leave home because they're not going to be there to assist you with the younger ones. And that's a no-no for me. Mm. Absolutely. So I do battle with parents where that's concerned. Let's switch over. We're going to switch gears. We're actually going to go into the uh, pandemic and how it's affecting um, the this, this students this uh, school, um, incoming school year. Um, so let me ask you, how has the pandemic affected your program? Not much. Okay. Yes. Really? Yes. I know. But that's because we're different. Okay. Yes. We're absolutely different. And I'll tell you why it hasn't affected us um, as badly. Okay. Somewhat, yes. Mm-hmm. And that's somewhat, let me deal with that first. That mm -hmm. somewhat is I am a program that takes the students out 65 to 80% okay. of the time. Mm -hmm. And to about 65 to 80 events. Wow. Yes. So that has curtailed. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we do find things online and we still meet and we still encourage and we go to their homes and we still, yes, we're still engaged okay. and involved. Good. Just not as much as we were before the pandemic. Okay. So I am proud of the leaders of, of this after school program mm -hmm. because they come up with great ideas. I'll just start something off with trivia questions. I love trivia. Trivia keeps your mind young They're and occupied. brain teasers, and yes. Absolutely, and they love when I do that. And then I reward them with gift cards and different things. Okay. So they never know what's coming. All right, I love that. I just throw something out. What is Miss Sandra up to? <laughs> Once they hear their phone start and everyone starts answering, oh. and they pride themselves in being first. Wow. To answer. I love I'm that. The one in the group. <laughs> so we, we keep it, we keep it engaging. Yeah, it's very fun we and engaging. Mm -hmm. we're, we're fortunate to have Dr. Bailey's property so that we can do things there as well. Oh, so that's, that's so that awesome. We, for Hispanic Heritage Month, like that's coming up. Yes. Um, it's, we're actually in it now, September 15th to October 15th. Mm -hmm. So here's what we're doing different. Mm -hmm. What we're doing, we are um, having Judge Gisela Lamont, that's going to be our speaker. Uh -huh. She's an Evans alum, by the way, and she's a supporter of this program. Get out. She's a supporter of this program. Wow. We have a, a lot of people that admire what we do mm -hmm. and send folks our way. Mm -hmm. And Judge Gisela Lamont um, is going to be a speaker mm -hmm. tomorrow on this program and what they're doing in addition to that is having a group of about 15 students get together and mm -hmm. teach them how to do a latin dance i love it i love We're that very yes. yes every year flu is different everyone brings something different to the table what i didn't say to you earlier mm -hmm. which i do need to add the young people run the program i just oversee it no are you serious yes ma'am i guide them lead them to think 
what's next? What do you want to see? They run the program. They are our future, aren't they? Yes, ma'am. They are our future, and they need to start somewhere. They need to start somewhere, so they run the program. I am super proud of the twinkle I see in their eyes, mm -hmm. and I want everyone to understand that is watching this program, mm -hmm. that will get to see this program, all we need to do is offer our young people hope. Mm. Just hope. You will see that frown turn into a smile. Yes. I have seen it for five and a half years. Wow. Come January, it will be six years that we've been doing this. Listen, this is why Mrs. Hall looks so young, okay? It's because the, the joy yes. that these students bring to you. Yes a lot of joy. Isn't it? They keep me young. I have to tell you, every single year there's a new dance. And every single year <laughs> I am taught a new dance. You don't ask me to do any, any today. I don't I'll remember. spare you. I'll spare Just you. Spare Please spare me. But I will tell you, every single year. Mm -hmm. Yes. Every My kids always year. laugh at me when I try to do the new dances. They're of like, Mom, course. stop. Stop. But, but it's, it's very um, enjoyable. It is um, refreshing. Mm -hmm. It does keep me young. I do look at the future, and I know the investment is well worth it because it's an investment. Mm -hmm. It's an investment of time, love, and money. Mm -hmm. The only thing I didn't do is give birth to these young people. Wow. That's the only thing I didn't do. But it is a joy, and I cannot talk about my partners enough. Wow. Now, you and your husband are partners? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. No, you have become partners. Because you're taking the time to let the world wow. hear about what's being done here and lives that are being changed. You know, when I look at LeBron James and the I Promise School that yes. he has, mm -hmm. it gives me hope because I want everyone to hear we will have a school one day. Absolutely. Please ultimate goal. I love that. The ultimate goal is to have a school. I love that. I liked how our young people from Parkland, mm -hmm. how outspoken mm -hmm. they are, were continue to be didn't know that the um, person that started that school was an activist now we understand why as soon as the parkland shootings took place they've been having mm. these conversations they were ready for that mic no one prepped them they were ready that's how you will see the young people of the future out of pine hills and other areas i so love that i um i have to also let you know that eight other schools are asking me to be there it's impossible right now need funding. Too. Wow. But eight other schools have asked me to come in and run flu out of the school. COVID, don't mess with Sandra because yes. you don't, she don't got time for you. No. She really don't have time and I she will really not don't. let you paralyze her. No, not at all. So question, how are your students coping now with, uh, with the pandemic? Okay, so a number of them are not happy with online. Okay. They're not. It's different for them. Mm -hmm. They feel as if they have to give a little bit more mm. because the learning is not the same. Wow. They prefer face to face. Yes. So it's not been the most delightful. Right. At all. It's been very challenging to okay. say the least. But that inner drive in them mm -hmm. to um, succeed, mm -hmm. they're doing tutoring. They are. Um, pushing a little bit extra. Right. Some of them have even said, oh, Miss Sandra, if it wasn't for you telling us that we have to go through this and our parents behind you doing the same thing, mm -hmm. we sometimes feel like we want to give up. Mm. But we know, as you always say, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. And that's our future. And we're getting ready to go outside these doors. So we try to stay positive. Right. And we give it our all. It's not the same. So they have said that. Kids, I just want to let you guys know, and not only kids, this goes out for um, adults as well. Change, it is not, it's never easy. It's, it, there are always challenges, but just remember that this is also part of your testimony because you will too get over this. You will too, you will, you will strive and you will be better than where you were before. So always remember that change might look ugly. It might not be what you want to do, but at the end, it's going to be so well worth it. It is. So Absolutely. well worth it. You know, we're the only um, 
after school program that gives a scholarship to date that we know of in this area, number one. Yes, and I'm going to say um, not only the only scholarship here, but like, like um, you know, we were discussing earlier, I'm from New York. Yes. And the scholarships that were given to us were either um, faith-based mm -hmm. um, or they were scholarships given because of... Um, our grades so yes. we we you know we got our gpas were high and stuff and we got those kind of scholarships Absolutely. government scholarships but they were not from the mentoring program you are the first that i know of Absolutely. sorry for yes. those who are doing it yes. but i'm just saying right. the That's ones you, that i know of well. you know exactly me too <laughs> me too that i know of and we're excited that we um this year of the mm -hmm. 14 mm -hmm. um I would say a number of them, we were the only ones that they received scholarships from, believe it or not. Yes. And this is crazy for me, guys, because you already heard the numbers, their GPAs, yes. where they are in their graduating classes. So, in truth, where is this money that should be coming to Absolutely. them because they've yes. worked so, so hard? I talked to them about that, and a lot of them are in state. Um, some didn't qualify. I couldn't understand. Why. I don't understand I, that. That makes sense. Don't forget, these are ACT and SAT scores driven, and even though they're academically bright, those are challenging tests. We that's they a whole other com conversation. That is. Yes. That is. And ACT and SAT is a whole other conversation mm -hmm. that we need to have on another level. But twenty-two thousand dollars almost was given away. You gave away twenty-two thousand. Twenty-two thousand dollars. And I never talked about the, the numbers um, since you have sat here with us, with me. And 99 have graduated from the program. 94 have been sent to college. 94 have been sent to college. Three to the military and two in the workforce. Wow. $72,250 in scholarships have been given out overall. Yes, and that's minus the alumni. And alumni about 10,000 today. Oh my gosh, that is so amazing. All raised from friends on the board. Friends, no corporate sponsorship, nothing. My friends, my friends. Gannett started off pushing these young people and it's gonna mm -hmm. work with me a lot more so that we can raise some funds Yes, this year. yes. We do need to raise some funds so that we can continue this program because I have a lot of friends that had after school enrichment programs or had groups, mm -hmm. they failed for lack of funding. We're not going to let that happen, guys, and I'm going to tell you why when we come back. Stay tuned. And we're going to talk about now what's hot in your city. So, Sandra, yes. the question is, what's going on in your city? Ooh, there's so much going on. <laughs> I'm a foodie. Are you a foodie? I am a foodie. I love food. Absolutely. Well, let me give you a little insight into my world. Okay. Let's start with Golden Cross. Oh, Caribbean right. Bakery and Grill Orlando. Four Woo! locations. Four locations. I visit all four. Okay. <laughs> I love, I love the oxtail. 
Oh, I love oxtail. Oh, I don't want to make your listening audience hungry. I but they ought to let try. them salivate. Yeah. Let them salivate a little bit. Yes, they do. <laughs> Pea soup. Hmm. Mm, the rock cake, you name it. Rock it cake? Good. You know, I haven't yes. had rock cake in a, a while. while. Are you serious? Yeah, I really do got to go to Golden Cross. Yes, rock. You know, it's I grew up on here. It really is down the road from here. Okay, so yeah. let's get <laughs> this person, uh -huh. the young person. Okay. Lala Dreamland. I love Lala. Makeup <laughs> today. Uh huh. By Miss Niala Chamberlain <laughs> of Lala Dreamland. Definitely I love it. Up on IG. Yes. She's on Facebook as well. And she will transform your world. Oh, I hear that. <laughs> Absolutely. I love that she's a Bethune Cookman doing her thing. Yes. Whenever you see someone that looks as fabulous as I do mm. today, their face was done by. Miss Niala Chamberlain from La La Chamberlain. I love that. Okay, let's see where else I want to go with this. Mm -hmm. How about pharmacy? This is weird now. But you want to make sure that you're doing business with Bailey's Pharmacy. Let me tell you why. Go ahead. Bailey's Pharmacy is the platinum partner here for United Foundation of Central Florida. Oh, wow. But she delivers. Please tell me how many of you with our other pharmacies that are on the corner, no of them send in so many young people to college. Over 75 young people have been sent by Bailey's Pharmacy. Dr. Trisha Bailey wow. is the platinum partner in the room and has done an amazing job. She has funded this program for the last two years and has helped us to keep going. I love it. Loves the young people. She is third mom, right behind wow. me. Wow. Right behind me, but equally gives them the love that they need. I love that. The hope that they take with them every single time they graduate from this program. And she continues to bless them on their birthdays. As soon as she sees it on Facebook, she blesses them on their birthdays. Your birthday's coming up. It, it, it's in February. It's so wow, but but can I just be adopted? Absolutely. I just... I'll let her know. Okay, thank you. You're absolutely Thank welcome. you, Dr. Bailey. <laughs> what else is going on in my world? Well, we love to go bowling. Uh -huh. I would suggest that everyone take a little time to bowl. Okay, I like that. I love it's that. It's a relaxing day. It is. We love um, the different Marriott brands and the different locations okay. that we get to relax. In. All right. And I'm also a, a cheesecake factory lover. Well. So my husband and I have a, had a thing because yes. we I think we've we've actually accomplished it way before we found out yes. he was a diabetic. But um, yes. we had to once a month yes. for a hot date night yes. go to the cheesecake factory oh, and try out so, their yeah, yeah a new a new one. Oh, absolutely! I, I love it. I, I'm out. telling you, I love Cheesecake Factory. I do. So, you know, the City Beautiful has so much to offer. So, I would say that as things are opening back up, mm -hmm. we need to, of course, practice social distancing. Yes, yes, for sure. But outside dining, I would say, and um, going to different parks and yeah. distancing yourself and just taking in a little fresh air. Just to enjoy oh, yourself, nice. yes. Don't forget the beach, too. It's getting a little chilly. But it is, but beach. still, you know, that's the one thing I love about living in Florida. Absolutely. You can go just almost any time. Relax and just make the best of the times that we're in now. Yes. You know, relax a little, live a little, put your feet up a little. Say that again. Relax a little, live a little, put your feet up a little. We really do, you mm -hmm. know. Absolutely. Change happens every day no matter how drastic it is or how simple yes. it is so we still need to know how to live and absolutely. enjoy absolutely because there's a lot of um folks that are really um going through some tough times mm -hmm. and we have to be grateful for what we're able to enjoy and let's enjoy nature what's out there yes naturally and um let's make the best of it because i'm a firm believer we have to get through this we do we do, because we will. We shall, too, get over this. Absolutely. We shall, too. Yeah. All right, guys. So, well, it's the fun part of the show where we play a game, and this game is Blind Questions. And in Blind Questions, I have to tell you guys, I and my co-host, 
don't know what's in this bowl down here and this beautiful bowl here of questions the team has come up with wonderful questions for us so we're going to to the best of our ability answer as honestly as we can <laughs> i hope I, I hope they behave themselves i really I, do i really hope please if your husband has anything to do with that <laughs> I'm not sure. You guys, inside joke, he, he's, he's been troubled today. So. Okay. <laughs> right, Sandra? I know he has. He's not even looking at us. He's right not. Now. He's not paying us any mind. But we're going to go right into these questions. And because you are my co-host, I'm going to let you pick first. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. This is the first one. Yes. Um, that one. Okay. Let's see. All right. What do you got? What do you got? All right. Uh huh. So this is for you. Okay. Go ahead. Or is this for me? We can do it either way. What do you want to do? Do you want to do it for me? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. So I get to know you too. Oh Lord. <laughs> Describe yourself as a young adult. Oh, that's a good question. Describe okay. myself as a young adult. Um, very vibrant eager and um at the time wanted to change the world um and with with the skills that i had at that time thank you <laughs> you're quite welcome um same for me really absolutely i was an uh, overachiever uh-huh i had to get things Still right Still didn't are. like wasting time mm-hmm you know, it had to make sense to me. Yes. Always yeah. involved in a lot of debates. Um, and not debates um, outside in school. Mm -hmm. Where I took the opportunity not to just push my views on anyone, but to show a different way mm. of thinking. Because sometimes we're just thinking one way. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the only way that we know. Or, you know, if our parents does, like, this is the only way. Mm -hmm. And then I would be the person in the room that said, hmm. I'm wondering if we looked at it this way, right? So, Got to think out the box, yes, right? Right. So that was me, and I am still that way today. Okay. Um, whenever anyone brings any type of negativity to me, I said, mm, well, I don't know. Now, if it's staring you straight in the face, and that's what it is. If it looks like a duck, acts like a duck, it's a duck. It's a duck. But <laughs> if it could be um, viewed another way, yeah. then I'll be that person. Okay. That, and I still do that today. Okay. You ready? Are you sure? <laughs> Who was the most influential person of your childhood besides your parents? That would be my amazing sister, Marcia Miller. Really? Yes. Why? She is something else. She just does not stop. She doesn't um, see anything negative. Uh -huh. She puts God first in every single thing that she does. I love that. And she's always positive about it. Mm. You know, and I could go to her for anything. Oh, Marcy, I'm thinking of buying a plane or a boat. Or she's like, oh, okay. Well, let's talk about it. Let's see how we can make this happen. You know, I just really treasure her for her uh, spirit. Uh -huh. Amazing spirit mm -hmm. um, that she has. And just an encourager. Just an encourager. She's an encourager from a standpoint of nothing is ever too good for me. I love that. You know, um, if someone ever says to her, oh, my goodness, your sister it's just too much. Just say, well, what did you do to her? <laughs> she doesn't go out of her way. That's a sister for That's you. <laughs> sister for you. And she is the person that I can count on if I ever got in trouble, heaven forbid. Okay. And went to her and said, oh, Marcia, we have to talk. She's going to say, all right, now what is it now? <laughs> no, you did not. No, you didn't. <sighs> she takes a deep breath. Uh -huh. right? And then she'll say, well, Go ahead and call a lawyer. You have a number? <laughs> that's, that's it. I love that. That is support. That is support. And Absolutely. it's so crazy because my answer is very much the same. It would be my sister. We are Irish twins. We're 10 months and three weeks apart. I'm the older <laughs> one. And um, just her strength in itself is so inspiring for me on the day-to-day -day basis. And she hates when I talk about her at any time, especially on my show. But I have to tell you, I love you, sis. You are an amazing woman, amazing mom, an amazing friend, and definitely an amazing sister to me. So, mwah, I love nice. you. Nice. Awesome. All right. Let's pick another one. Okay. 
and I'll draw one just. Oh. What was your child nickname? I don't know if I had one. Oh, no. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I guess I had a nickname. Did you? Yes, I did. I do. I do. I do. Um, I do not like nicknames or pet names. Okay. And um, I love my husband very much, and he does not call me that, any nicknames or anything like that. But my father, I only allowed one person ever to call me by a nickname, and it's my dad. And I actually have two now. I have one when I was, I was a child, and that's Lolo. Okay. It's what he called me for Lori Lolo. Okay. And um, when I got older, there's a running joke in my family that I can't cook. Oh. Which is not true. My husband can tell you I can cook. Oh. Okay. Right. Wow. That, that was not confident. I know, right? That was horrible right now. Wow. Really? He's, he's behind the camera. And I'm like, really? Yes. Um, but my dad calls me now Cookie. Oh, that's yeah. funny. It's because he's, he's, my dad's a cook. He's a real good cook. Oh, okay. But he calls me Cookie because yes. I'm the, the baby, so the yes. cookie. Oh, nice. Well, you know, um, I nicknames, they can follow you through, mm -hmm. as you know. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I have one. No? No. Oh, it was good to you to share. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. No, I didn't have one at all. Oh, wow. Yeah. One more from wow, yes. This is a good one. What world event can you recall from your childhood that you can remember? Some world event that happened. A world event? Yes. That took place in my childhood. I know. Well, I, you know, I'm going to say it was a world event, but <laughs> I'm not sure how your listening audience will feel about it. But, you know what? It was quite significant. Okay. Um, it was the day I found out that Bob Marley passed away. Oh, wow. Yeah. That, yeah. that was definitely that was, something, uh, wasn't it? absolutely shocking because Bob Marley is one of those people that opened up Jamaica to the world. Right? Just one of them. Mm -hmm. Because we've had several. But he was accepted internationally all across the world. And even for those that didn't even speak English, they knew how and to sing one of Bob Marley's lines. Yes. Let's get together and feel alright. Everybody knows it, right? Everybody okay. Knows it. One love. One love. So, um, yeah, that's one that that's the first one that popped in my mind. Wow. That I mentioned. I, remember. I don't think from my childhood that is hard. Um, oh, what popped into my head? Believe it or not, the Berlin the Berlin Wall oh, falling. Okay. And it, literally, the image popped into yeah. my head is what I can remember from my childhood. And um, learning about that in school and what that all meant was um, was very. It was it was very um, at the time, just it was so surreal because at the time we was we were learning about. Um, American history and stuff in school and to learn about global history and something that was affecting yeah. us at that present time was what made me fall in love with um, uh, social um, developments and history and or the whole the whole of social studies is what made me fall in love with it. Yeah. Well, guys, this has been so much fun. So much information. I love this episode. Sandra, so, thank you so much for being my co-host today. Oh, you're quite welcome. Thank but you so much for having me. Thank you. And, um, I would be remiss not to tell everyone how to reach me. Yes, please. And before we do that, I am challenging my watchers out there, my MC um, viewers, to... After you hear this information, to donate to United Foundation of Central Florida. I am challenging you guys. There will be a Facebook post up for the challenge. Okay, hashtag United, um, United Foundation of Central Florida Challenge. Donating money to this worthy cause here in Central Florida, Pine Hills. Go ahead, Sandra. I so appreciate 
And thanks for this opportunity. Um, you both have an amazing company. I've been doing this for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell you, I would tell everyone to support your business. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Home city and, um, you know, every single thing that you do. Thank you. They should definitely, definitely support. And I have a lot of 5,000 followers. Ah! And those 5,000 have 5,000. We're coming after you. You're coming yeah. after you. <laughs> so, to reach out to us, mm -hmm. um, our website is www.unitedfoundationcf.org. That's www.unitedfoundationcf.org. And definitely, we accept phone calls at 770-789-7004. Thank you. Thank you again. This has been an awesome episode of In My City. Guys, stay tuned for the next one. We'll talk to you soon.